got a ton of talent. Um, that 3-5-2 has served them quite well this year, and um, they've proved that they can score goals against good teams. Um, we're going to have to break them down. We're going to have to keep the ball. Um, but mo most importantly, we're going to have to battle them. Yeah, we've got a ton of confidence coming off this past weekend. Uh, three goals against Iowa and a good 2-1 performance against Northwestern. So the spirit's high, the energy's high, and looking forward to our match on Friday night. Well, obviously with their five in the middle, um, their number's up in the midfield at all times. And, um, and so it's going to take a lot of work by our midfield and some um, tracking back by our forwards. Um, but if we can get our outside backs into the attack a bit and, uh, and keep possession of the ball, I think we can make Minnesota work. Obviously, Wisconsin's had some good results. I think they're sitting at 3-0 and 2 in the conference right now. And um, they've proven that they can frustrate teams and they've proven that they can battle with the best. Um, they haven't put a lot of balls in the back of the net, but they've, they've gotten one when they've needed it. So um, we've worked this week on being patient in our attack and moving the ball quickly and limiting our frustration and playing the way that we're capable of playing. Concerned at all against about the scoreless streak, I'm much more concerned about Ohio State not scoring at all, obviously. We don't want them to continue to gain points on us at this point. So uh, we're taking care of our own business and, and hoping the rest of it takes care of itself.